my boy. Hi, I'm Sandy Spracklin. And I'm Taylor McGilvery. Please join us for a primetime edition close-up tonight. Well, each week, we give you an in-depth look at America's most celebrated personality. Who can forget our exclusive interview with Dustin Hoffman? Ah. I asked Dusty how he feels having to let go of a character once the filming ends. What he say? Well, let's find out. Ah, uh, come on. What do you think, man? How would you like to have to wave goodbye to Tootsie and then when you ask for a forwarding address, she thumbs her nose at you, man? <laughs> I promised my wife I wouldn't cry and look at me. I'm pulling a Patrick Swayze here, man. <laughs> then we stripped away the lie. Hey, come on, come on. That come was really Rosie Perez. I get asked that question a lot, and I'm very tired of it. This is the way I talk. This is my real voice. I am no lawyer. You're calling me a friggin' lawyer, and I am no lawyer. No, 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 no. I am a liar. I was born in London, and I studied at the Old Vic. But that's not the Rosie you want, is it? No, that's not the Rosie you want. You want this Rosie, don't you? But you can't have her. You can't have her. <laughs> Later tonight, on tonight's edition of Primetime Edition Close-Up Tonight, we look at Hollywood super agent Neil Sussman. And do yourself a favor. Don't bleed near this shark. Because I'm telling you, he is one tough customer. Sterling... We have favored nations with Whoopi, and you know it. Now, if you want my client to have any sense of importance in your movie, you're going to meet his demands. Ow! Oh. What is the big deal? We're not pulling Eddie Murphy time here. We're simply asking for a yellow brick road from the Winnebago to the set and a functioning bidet. Now, this is not the moon. Oh. So join us tonight. Taylor McGilvery. And Sandy Moneybag Spracklin. What? Get out of here. <laughs> she just signed a new contract. The woman is rich. I feel like you're in the penthouse, right? <laughs> Later tonight on NBC. <laughs> you got the giggles, girl. I'm going to bleed the fifth on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like you just had a fifth. <laughs> Hello, my name's Forrest, Forrest Gump. People call me Forrest Gump. All my life I've been one lucky guy. I got to go to college because I could run like the wind blows. Oh. That was lucky. Yes. Well, I'm David Letterman's mother, and I got to be a big TV personality just because David used to call me on the phone. No kidding. No. I guess that makes you lucky, too. Yes, it does. <laughs> I was in Vietnam, mm. and because of my running, mm. I got me a Medal of Honor and got to meet the President of the United States. Oh, that's wonderful. Mama was so proud. Mm. Well, I got to go to the Winter Olympics and meet Nancy Kerrigan way back before she turned bitter. Oh, that's pretty lucky. Yes, it is. Okay, I can top that. Oh? In Vietnam, I was wounded in the buttocks Ooh. and got to meet another president of the United States. Oh, my goodness, that is lucky. You can say that again. Yes. Oh, there's my bus. Good luck to you. Thanks. But I won't need it, because I'm already lucky. Look out! A box of chocolate. My mama always said, life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Gump chocolates, because life is like a box of chocolates. See, I told you I was lucky. Your kid watches TV. He sees an action hero. He wants the action hero. 
We now return to Models Amalgamated. When you die? I want my put. I won't get your money till you die, huh? Why is it so dark? Bill! You give me a heart attack! What are you doing to my mother? What does it look like? I'm trying to save her from suffocating in the Barker lounger. With a pillow? It's not pronounced pillow, Beryl. It's pillow. Why must you always mispronounce words? Oh, don't you turn the tables on me, Bill Pierce. All I know is I, I, I was putting some clothes into the wash when all of a sudden it, I heard the... You did it again. <laughs> it's not wash. It's wash. Why must I say... Mother! Mother, mother darling! Mother, 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 please! Yes. <laughs> Oh, look what I found. See, that hat pin you were looking for. Mother, I tell you what. Let's go to the kitchen. I'll fix you a nice cheese sandwich. Sandwich? Sandwich? I'm sure the Earl of Sandwich will be pleased to know you'll be eating one of his namesakes. I'm so depressed. Mother, I think Bill and I need some privacy, okay? That's quite all right. I'll leave. I know when I'm not wanted. Thanks, Mother. I appreciate it. Better idea, Mother. You stay put, and we'll leave. Bill! Don't bill me! We could have left the room and had nine conversations by now. What is bothering you? Who can remember? It's been so long! Oh, well, now you're being cruel! She's being cruel! Look at her, eating up the entire evening with that promenade of hers! I want my pudding! Bill, may I say something to you? Choose your words carefully, Belle. One more mispronunciation could send me over the edge. Bill, yesterday when you gave that, that wonderful speech at the library, all of the people were moved, so... Library? Your brain is like a computer of complete wrongness. Darling, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm so sorry. It's just that I've had three cups of very, very strong espresso, and I don't know... Espresso! As in Lincoln Avenue, Expresso, cross down bus. Get out! Get out of my door! <laughs> Who's the idiot who took my pudding? Get! I'll kill him! Hi there. Hi. Hmm. Can I help you? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna have a large non-fat cafe latte grande latte. Non-fat? Hmm. That surprises me. Does it? You look like a guy that would like lots and lots of cream. Well, that depends on who's doing the porn. Wow. That would be me. Well, then make mine a double. But I like mine hot. Oh, I can make it hot. <laughs> Would you like something to eat with that, too? Yeah. Something I can nibble on. Something hot. Chew. Order the footlong hot dog. I'd love to hear what that conversation is like. <laughs> hey, do you mind? No. Anyways, uh, you were about to tell me your name and address. Brittany Pierce. My name is, uh... Zach Duham from the Modeling Channel. How'd you know that? I used to be friends with Tisa. You, you knew, uh... <sighs> Tisa? Yes. In fact, I need to talk to you about her. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. That is one line. I do not cross. It concerns magenta. What about magenta? There's something you need to know. <laughs> ah. Here's to you, magenta. Once again, in life as in love, you wind up on top. It was you! What are you talking about? You killed Tisa! 
Jack, you, you're scaring me. Oh, I'll do a hell of a lot more than scare you, lady. I want the truth! I'll tell you the truth. I did not kill Tisa. Well, if, if, if you d didn't kill... What's her name? Tisa. Tisa, thank you. Then who did? Brittany Pierce. Brittany Pierce? How could she? Wait a minute. She told me you did it, and I believe her. And now it is payback time, lady. And now, scenes from next week's Models Amalgamated. <laughs> okay, Brittany, how do you explain these pills? Listen, Amber, just because you're my roommate does not give you the right to go through my things. Brittany, don't go there. You have a son? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big time. Name's Bob. And he's got the same little crooked smile he says. Don't you do that! No! Don't you dare do that! <laughs> you little Republican! I had it! Ow! Ow! Ow. Quit! Don't! Ow! Right. Get out of here, Magenta! I manage this coffee shop. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You little fool! You may manage this coffee shop. But as of today, I own it. Oh, and, um, you, my little bitch, are fired! What are you doing? Wait a second! You horrible, 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 horrible,